All right, today we're going to talk about zeros of polynomial functions. And the first thing we're going to start with is the factor theorem. Basically, this factor theorem says if you have a polynomial P, there is some real number C is a zero if and only if this is a factor of this. Okay, and so what we're going to do is set up synthetic division and determine if it's a zero by looking at our remainder. So let's check our polynomial, x cubed, x squared, x constant. So it's in descending order and it's not missing any terms. So I'm going to start with coefficient of a 1, a 4, a negative 5, and a negative 14. And we're going to put a positive 2 over here because it's in our x minus k format. So synthetic division, we always drop the first term. Multiply, 2 times 1 is 2. Add down, and then we start over. 2 times 6 is 12. Add down, 2 times 7 is 14. Put the number in the next column, add down. We have a remainder of 0. And because I have a remainder of 0, we know that this is a factor of the polynomial. So we would say, yes, it is a factor. Okay, let's do the same thing with number 2. I'm going to check 2x to the 4th, 5x to the 3rd, negative 8x squared, 3x, 13, put them in descendant order, make sure there's no missing terms. Um, if this is an x plus 1 in our synthetic division, we set it up with a negative 1. Drop the first term and start the process. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, add down. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Then add down. Negative times a negative is a positive 11. Add down, and 3 plus 11 is 14. Negative 1 times 14 is negative 14. And we would say, since this remainder is, since this did not turn out to be 0, we're going to say, no, this is not a factor. And we say, no, this is not, a, negative 1 is not a factor. Number 3 is a little bit different. It tells us to factor out this polynomial into the different factors. So we want to see a list of the factors that says if negative 3 is a 0 of f. So first thing we're going to do is test to see if this is a 0. So I'm going to say 6x cubed, 13x squared, minus 14x plus 3. And we're checking to see if negative 3 is a factor. If negative 3 is a 0. Okay, so we'll put our negative 3 there and we're going to whoops, drop the first term, multiply, we get negative 18, add down, 13 minus 18 is going to be a negative 5. Start over, we're going to multiply negative 3 times negative 5 and we will get positive 15. Add down, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, and we find out that, yes, negative 3 is going to be a factor. If the original polynomial is an x to the third power, our resulting polynomial is going to be 1 degree less, so an x squared. So we have 6x squared minus 5x plus 1. Well, if we know that negative 3 is a factor, then we know that um, we have x plus 3 times this what's left over, so it's going to be 6x squared minus 5x plus 1. This represents the same thing we would have if we distributed and multiplied it out. We just pulled out one of the factors. 
And remember, if it's in this format, we have to change it back to this format when we put the um, the factors over here. So what my next question is, we want to know, does this factor as well? Now, fortunately, uh, we're able to use bottoms up or a, or a quadratic formula to determine if this factors out. So 6 times 1 is 6. We're looking for all the factors of 6. That when we multiply them, we get a positive 6, but when we add them, we get a negative 5. So that means I would have to have this over here. And we always put it over the first term, which is a 6x. Okay, and now we want to reduce. Divide by 2. That leaves me with negative 1. Divide by 2. That leaves me a 3. So I have 3x minus 1. Okay, on this next one, I reduce to divide by negative, I mean divide by 3. I would have negative 1 divide by 3, and I would have 2x minus 1. And I'm just going to carry this one down. It says factor this polynomial into factors. So these are all the factors of the original polynomial. For the first one, we had to use synthetic division. And for the other two, once we got it down to a quadratic, we could either use bottoms up or um, quadratic formula to get to here. Um, well, actually not the quadratic formula unless we had some specific values for x, but we're going to use our bottoms up at this point to be able to get us back to um, our factors. Number four, we're going to do the same thing. Factor the polynomial. It says if 3 is a 0 of f. So we have 1x cubed minus 1x squared minus 4x minus 6. And then we want to know if 3 is a 0 of f. So we're going to do synthetic division. Drop the first term. Then we're going to multiply. 3 times 1 is 3. Add down. Start over. 3 times 2 is 6. Add down. Start over. 3 times 2 is 6. Add down. So we do know that 3 is a 0 of the polynomial. And all that tells us is we have, we know the first factor. And if this is an x cubed polynomial, then that means this is an x squared polynomial. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 2, which is going to be, um, and from here, we want to know if this can be factored any further. So we can try bottoms up method. What multiplies to give us a 2, which is the only thing that multiply to give us a 2 is a 2 and a 1, but adds to give us a 2. Well, no way that we add this or we're going to get a 2. So, since I can't use the bottoms up method, I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula. Okay, so we will have our quadratic formula is going to be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Now, what you want to recall from here, this is your a equals 1. It's the coefficient in front of the x, which is a known 1. b is 2, and c is going to be 2 for our particular problem. So this is your a, this is your b, and this is your c term. Okay, now let's go ahead and plug them into this formula. Opposite of b, which is going to be negative 2 plus or minus 2 squared minus 4. My a is a 1. My c is a 2. All divided by 2 times a. And a is 1. Alright, so x equals negative 2 plus or minus this becomes a 4. I'm going to kind of write it above it. This is a 4. 2 squared is 4. And then 4 
times 1 times 2 is 8, and then I have that negative there, so minus 8. And then 4 minus 8 is going to be negative 4 here. All over 2 times 1, which is 2. Now we know when we have a square root of a negative number, then we get an i, because I'm going to come off to the side, I'm going to say recall. Recall when we worked with imaginary numbers, the square root of negative 4 is the same thing as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 4. This is your i, and the square root of 4 is just 2, so that becomes 2i. And then we can see that a 2 can be reduced out of all the terms, so that just reduces to um, x equals negative 1 plus or minus i over 1, which is just this. So we would write it one time. If I came back up here to give my polynomial, this factor gets carried down. And this polynomial, which we did the quadratic formula to, gives us these two answers. So negative 1 plus i, write it one time with the plus, and negative 1 minus i, want it, write it one time with the negative. These are going to be our factors for number 4.